The exhibit room in the house also shows a lot of um, materials and components that were utilized in the house. Here you can see a whole assortment of hurricane hardware. Here you see the, the tread risers, some of the engineered wood products that were utilized, an impact resistant window, and there you can see the film and that, what is different about it, impact resistant screen. And we do have um, some product literature on display from some of our contributors who donated some of these materials. Uh, lower, you can see accordion type hurricane shutters and, and removable panels as well. And this is a, a, an enclosure for dry flood proofing. So an enclosure like this could be bolted into a doorway to provide a flood barrier if the building itself were waterproofed and flood proofed like we did with the teaching center. On this table, we see a variety of flashing materials that were utilized and corner guards and um, in the, for the siding that keeps moisture from wicking through and uh, the termite steel mesh and a drainage mat as well. This type of flashing was used where all the sips was and it provides a, um, a sill flashing that is sloped and so it drains to the outside even if the sill was not built to be sloped and positive corner guards and kick out flashing for roofs as well. These are um, nifty products. These are for penetrations in the wall. So they're a flashing gasket size for plumbing or for electrical penetrations that make it really easy to integrate with your house wrap and, and both air seal and prevent moisture entry at those penetrations.